let's just go with facts. I think facts are the best way to deal with any precedent, okay? We start off, we go through 15 rounds. On the first day, we keep our first promise and we peel 87,000 IRS agents. We've got 146 Democrats to join with us and vote for the creation of the Select Committee on China. We no longer have proxy voting. Members are now showing up to work. You now have a relationship between your speaker and your minority leader, which you haven't had before. We stop the selling of the Strategic Petroleum Reserve to China with more than 130, or 113 Democrats joining with us. We repeal ESG. It would harm the economics. We talked about making our streets safe. Our first challenge was D.C. and the crime there. We move even though the president said he wouldn't. We said we'd get to the origins of COVID. The president just now signed, and unanimous out of the Senate and in the floor as well. We said we would bring a parent's bill of rights. We've marked it up out of committee. We've had our first hearing with the China Select Committee that was at night, very bipartisan. Even the Washington Post wrote an editorial about it. We said energy would be our number, number one issue as well. The bill is marked up, going to be coming to the floor, going to be having the debate. We just came to an issue conference that you didn't see fighting. We're focused. We've watched what happened in the country where the Democrats spent another $5.9 trillion, brought us inflation, brought us a challenge with banking. We had a banking issue conference to all talk with all of you where we're going. As you sat down at that conference or that press conference, you sat with two members who had been regulators, had worked in the Treasury Department, had owned banks before, and just had a policy discussion. And I bet you walked away thinking, man, these people have a handle on this. They're not playing politics with it, which an action people could see before. For the first time, you've had a bill come to the floor in more than seven years that was totally open. That never happened once under Nancy Pelosi or under Paul Ryan. We only have a five-seat majority, and we allow anybody to bring it forth. For the first time, you watched a bipartisan, all the Republicans and Democrats, to meet together not on a classified briefing, but to talk about an issue that I think is our greatest threat, our debt. In a time where you think politics is not going to allow us to do a debt ceiling, where the president says he doesn't want to negotiate, you watch the speaker and the leader talk before that they, we brought the Congressional Budget Office director in to lead. Anybody could get up and ask the question. So what's interesting to me is we have changed Congress on its head in less than three months. Now, the real question you really want to ask me, can I change the press room on its head to follow what Congress is doing? Now, my first question, your first answer to your question, yeah, I believe I can lead. I believe we're achieving that because we're leading together. I don't know if I can lead all of you, but I'm going to continue to meet with you. I'm going to continue to try, and we're going to make it happen eventually. I believe in you, okay? So, you continue to be here. You continue to listen. And I thought this press conference started off better than all the others. So, we started with a question on something we talked about. That hasn't hurt, happened in a whole Congress either. So, I, was, I felt good about it. 